everyone welcome to my channel my name is Lisa I am a 44 year old single person currently living in the Northern Virginia area if you're new to my channel welcome and if you're returning thank you so much for stopping back by I really appreciate it today I'm going to go over my budget for July 2019 okay let me go ahead I've got everything already set up I have all of my um, categories laid out just to save time all right, so starting up here at the top, income number one, which is my regular salary. Um, I am paid bi-weekly. So for the month of July, I'm paid twice. Um, and each paycheck is $1,700. So that gives me $3,400 for the month. Next is income number two. And what income number two is, I deposited sinking funds for a couple of items that are coming due. So I deposited $120 from my renter's insurance envelope. And then I also deposited $560 from my car insurance envelope. So that is $680. Moving into my fixed expenses, I have my rent. Now I do rent a basement apartment in Northern Virginia, which is all inclusive. I do not pay for any kind of utilities, um, no electricity, trash, sewer, gas, none of that good stuff. So it is a just a fixed amount and that is $900 per month. Next is my car insurance, and this car insurance amount is a six-month premium, and it is $613. Next is my renter's insurance, and that was $120, also a six-month premium. Netflix is $16. It's actually $15.99, but the penny would drive me crazy. Somebody suggested rounding up and totally agree. Much better. All right, next is Hulu, and that is $12. AT&T cell phone is $56. And last is Sling TV, and that is $45. So let's go ahead and add up my fixed expenses. So I've got 900, 613, 120, 16, 12, 56, and 45 is $1,762. Moving down here into debt payment, um, my auto is $415.38. Next is the credit card payment and the monthly payment is $330. Last is the personal loan, and that monthly payment is $200. So let's add that up. So $415.38 plus $330 plus $200 is $945.38. Moving into cash expenses, food, toiletries, and household, my weekly budget is $60. So there are four weeks, and that is $240. Next is gas. My gas budget is $20 per week, so $80 for the month. So a new category is spending, and 
that is going to be $20 per week, so $100 for the month. Next is donations, and donations is $5 per week, so $20 for the month. And last cash expense is fur babies. That's $25 per week, $100 for the month. And I did try doing fur babies food um, using Capital One, and I thought I would be ordering their food online, but it just didn't work out well for me. I found that I ran out of food. <laughs> And then I ended up having to use part of my grocery budget because I had run out of food and didn't order in time. So I think I'm going to stick with what I know works for me, and that is doing cash. Also for spending being a new category, um, I last week I went out to lunch one day with a coworker and I went out for coffee. And I when I when I think about it. You know, I, I still need to allow myself a little bit of wiggle room. I still have quite a ways in my debt journey. And if I'm so restrictive that I allow myself nothing extra, then I feel like I'm going to get burned out. So $100 may be a little too much. We'll see. That's what I'm going to start with. Okay, so let me add this up. So $240 for food, $80. 100, 20, and 100 is 540 for cash expenses. All right, next is sinking funds. Um, again, big changes. I was only contributing to car insurance, car maintenance, and fur babies. But I'm finding that my, my sinking fund balances were dwindling. And again, if I do not make sure that I'm contributing to these regularly, then I'm going to run out of money and I'm going to be scrambling um, to try to find the money to pay for whatever it is. As an example, my medical fund only has about $30 in it and I need new glasses. There is not enough money in that fund for me to purchase glasses. So I have got to start contributing to medical in order to buy new glasses. Uh, beauty is another category. I got my hair cut this last week. That fund is depleted now. And so I was, all of my funds are shrinking and I'm not adding anything else to them. They're all going to be empty soon if I don't start, um, start back. So the great thing about a budget is it is personal. It changes for me sometimes month to month, depending on my needs. And it is a learning process. Um, a budget is individual to my needs and my situation. And I have to be able to have some flexibility in my budget to make changes when I find that something is not working for me. And so that is why there are so many changes in my budget for this month as I'm finding that I'm being a little too restrictive. I need some spending money. Tried to do online purchasing. That did not work well for me. And I'm spending in my categories, which that is the purpose of sinking funds, is to have money when you need to spend it, the money is there, but I'm not contributing anything more. So the balance is dwindle, dwindle, dwindle. And then what happens when they're empty and I need, let's say I run out of makeup and I don't have anything in my beauty fund, what am I going to do? So I need to contribute a little bit every single paycheck so that when it comes time that I need something out of these funds, the money is going to be there. All right. So off my soapbox and I'm going to move on to sinking funds. Okay, so car insurance. I did notice that when my car insurance renewed, it's $613. So the previous $20 per week that I was contributing was not enough. So I'm going to have to make up the difference um, this time around because I only had $560 in my sinking fund to cover car insurance. So now the remainder of it is going to have to come out of whatever is left here, which gives me less for my debt snowball. So for $613, um, I estimated it was going to be about $25 per week for car insurance. 
And so that is $100 for the month. Um, next is car maintenance, and that is going to stay at $30 per week. So that is $120 for the month. Fur Babies Vet, which is for their shots, um, and then also for their nail trims, that is staying at $10 per week. So that is $40 for the month. Car taxes and tags will be $5 per week, so $20 for the month. Renter's insurance is going to stay at $10 per week, so $40 for the month. Beauty, which is for makeup and hair, is going to get $5 per week, so that is $20 for the month. Gifts, which is going to be for birthdays. This is for all of my nieces and my nephews and my mom and my dad um, for Mother's Day and Father's Day. So that is going to get $10 per week, $40 for the month. Another new category is Christmas. I did a complete Christmas budget. I de determined what I wanted to spend on each person and and I took the number of paychecks that were between now and when I intend to do my shopping. And the budget for Christmas weekly is $30, and that is $120 for the month. Next is medical, and this is medical, dental, and vision. It is $5 per week, so $20 for the month. Last is vacation, and it really isn't vacation. I need to fly back home in December. My daughter is graduating from college, and um, so I'm going to contribute $20 per week, $80 for the month. All right, so let's add up the sinking funds. So I've got 100, 120, 40, 20, 40, 20, 40. 120, 20, and 80. So that is $600 in sinking funds. Okay, so now let's take my income and subtract all of these categories and see if I have anything left over for additional debt snowball payment. So we're going to take my income for my job, 3400 plus the 680 I deposited for um, car insurance and renter's insurance. Then I'm going to subtract my fixed expenses, 1762. Subtract my debt payment, 945.38. Subtract cash expenses of 540. And then subtract $600 for sinking funds leaves $232.62 is the amount that I'll be able to throw at my debt. And that is, you know, not a very high amount, you know, to be able to throw at debt, but I would rather be prepared for these things down at the bottom and have my sinking funds and it take a little bit longer to pay off my debt. Um, I, I, I don't know. Sinking funds give me a peace of mind. So let me just write down my snowball payment. And that's two thirty two sixty two. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is kind of a long video and um, I yapped way too much. So I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.